Well, says I'm live now. Hope I'm. I hope I'm on the right one. I hope. I don't do. Well, yeah. Good morning, everybody. This is Gloria Drummond. Blessings and love to each and every one of you that will see this. I'm going to read my devotionals. This is the 16th of January of 2023. <clears throat> I should have had this ready, but I didn't. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see, this is the 16th. I'm going to read the 15th and 16th, I think. And uh, again, good morning, everybody. And I'm going to open up, open this up with the Lord, with the Our Father, okay? okay? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, they all said, amen. Last night I went on my uh, Jesus is the Answer Ministries, and I, I, I'm still reading through the book of Job. So, if anybody wants to, to check, check that out. All right. <clears throat> Honor the Lord. This was for the 15th. Honor the Lord. If we live, it's to honor the Lord. And if we die, it's to honor the Lord. So whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. That's Romans 14, verse 9. If we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Amen, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. In this current age, we are encouraged to choose sides and make our opinions known to all. We must not lose sight of what truly matters in the in the deluge of worldly opinions. Are we living to please others, especially those we admire and respect, or are we living to honor the Lord above all else? To honor the Lord above all else. Let today refocus our lives. When we are tempted to judge someone because of a differing point of view, may we be quick to refocus our hearts in love. How can we honor the Lord in all things? By knowing Him and being like Him. Being like Him, right? As we look to the example of Jesus, we will find that love is the reigning message. Let us honor the Lord in our humility and in choosing His ways over our own. In, cho in choosing His ways over our own. No matter what we agree or disagree upon, we belong to the Lord. How are we living out this reality of His love in our lives? How are we How are we living out this reality of His love in our lives? Lord, above all else, I want to honor You with my life. The choices I make matter, and the surrendering of my heart to You matters. When I get distracted by the lesser things of this life, remind me of Your main message to live by the law of your love. By the law of your love. Amen. Hallelujah. By the law of your love. Wow. All right. These are, like I said, these are some good devotionals. And this is my Jesus first. Jesus first. All right. Rich in kindness. That's the one for today. Rich in kindness. He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of it, of his son and forgave our sins. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. All right. How much do we respect kindness in others? Do we see it as a strength or as weakness in those who extend it? Let's look at Jesus. He was ridiculed by the religious elite and others scoffed at his message of compassion. Even some of his own disciples expected him to take over the government of the time and rule as king, toppling the powers at play. But that is not what Jesus did. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Jesus is not an elitist. He is not exclusive. His love is not withheld from any person willing to receive it. This is by his kindness, grace, and mercy. Do we value his message of love? Do we trust that his ways are better than our own? None of us are better or worthier of his acceptance, love, and his transformation power than any, than any other. 
where we make excuses for our lack of love, Jesus never does. He laid down his life for all, and that all has not been amended. May we be rich in kindness, following Jesus, lead our lives. Following Jesus, lead in our lives. It is his way, not our way, his way, his way. And here's the prayer. Jesus, thank you for your kindness. I cannot freely accept it and appreciate it without extending it to others, even to those I struggle to love. Teach me your ways and keep me humble in your love. Always being humble. Being humble. I'm telling you, these are some right on devotionals. I love it. All right, now my prayer's on fire. You know, I said last night on my on my uh, video I did on YouTube that I might get on here early this morning and do some reading. So I decided to get on here this morning. Okay, thirteen. Okay, dope. January the fifteenth, which which was yesterday. Alrighty. The title of this one is Magnificent. Magnificent. I bow down before you, your divine presence, and bring you my deepest worship as I experience your tender love and your living truth for the promises of your word and the fame of your name. The fame of your name have been magnified above all else. And that's Psalms 138 2. Lord, I come before you with a humble heart. How great you are, how magnificent in the presence of angels. I bow down before your holy presence and adore you. There is none like you, none whose truth shakes the heavens. Shakes the heavens. Though you are more glorious than all the kings of the earth, you stoop to embrace the the lowly and acquaint yourself with the suffering of humility of humanity your wonderful ways are celebrated by all who discover them your promises are yes and amen the fame of your name will one day bring the nations to their knees in reverence oh yes the fame of your name will one day bring the nations to their knees in reverence you better believe it you better believe it with deepest affection, I offer you my tears of thanksgiving and joy. You know me, every thought, every deed, every fear, and every hope. And yet you believe in me. I surrender everything to you. All I ask is that you would finish what you've started in me, so I will become what you already see. And he's the author and the finisher of our faith. The author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Now the one for today. The one for today. Love. But as for me, your strength shall be my song of joy. At each and every sunrise, my lyrics of your love will fill the air. And that's Psalms 59, verse 16. Verse 16. I've become obsessed with this one truth. God. You love me. What a wonderful revelation. Each morning when I wake and turn my heart to you. Let that be my first thought. Let it fill me, my soul, and hope and, and flood every cell with joy. Knowing you love me changes everything. The creator of the universe, the one who made it all, loves me. The one who made it all loves me. He loves us. He loves us. I want everything I do to flow from this posture of complete confidence in your love. I want to pursue this love forever, to worship you and you alone. Let love be the motivation for my life throughout the day, regardless of the challenges I face. Let your love be my constant meditation. It is the provision for every situation, the provision for every situation. I will trust in this love without reservation, believing in your promises, such freedom in your love, such peace to be found within it. 
such peace, peace that surpasses all understanding. Nothing can ever separate me from this love. How amazing it is to be your child. May the power of your love set the course for my life. For my life. And I'm going to read one more. I'm going to read one more. Examine my heart. Examine my heart. <clears throat> God, I invite your searching gaze into my heart. Examine me through and through. Find out everything that may be hidden within me. Put me to the test and sift through all my anxious cares. Put me to the test and sift through all of my anxious cares. And that's Psalms 139 verse 23. 139 verse 23. Father, I fall prostrate before your holy presence. I surrender all that I am to you and give you full control of my life. There is nothing I want more than to become a vessel of pure devotion and to live each day consumed in this glorious love. Come, examine my heart and reveal everything that would distance me from you. Yes, everything that di would distance us from him. The nearness of your spirit is like fire in my bones. Sifting through every part of me, I will not resist. You know my weaknesses, yet you choose to dwell within my, my frailty. Yes, he knows our weaknesses, yet he chooses to dwell within our frailties. I stand humbled by your beauty, amazed by your power and grace. As I meditate upon your word, I feel it working within me, peeling away layers of darkness I didn't know were there. Peeling away layers of darkness that we didn't know were there. With the precision of a surgeon's knife, it cuts away the hidden cares. It cuts away the hidden cares. Have your way in me, Lord. I trust you. Cleanse me from secret sins and purify my heart. Amen. Boom. I love it. Have your way in me, Lord. I trust you. Cleanse me from secret sins and purify my heart. And we all have things that can be improved. We can all be, we can all be improved. We can all be improved. That's for sure. But we have to let go and let God. We have to let go and let God. Let God do His work in us. Let God change us. Let God change us. I know He's 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 changing me every day. I can feel it. I can feel it deep within my soul. I can feel it, the changes that He's making in me. Oh yes. And he will do that. He, creating me a clean heart. Creating me a clean heart. May I watch my, ch choose my words carefully that I use today, Lord. Let me choose my words. Think before I speak. Speak words of love. Speak words of love. Amen. Speak words of love. And you know also love love conquer, love conquers a multitude of sin. Love conquers a multitude of sin. That's right. The time now is 7:30 a.m. and this is the 16th of January of 2023. And today is Tuesday, I believe. So I hope you all have a blessed a blessed day today. Keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Look not to the right or to the left, but focus straight ahead on Jesus. Focus straight ahead on Jesus. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to say something too. Gabriella, Gabby, remember this? This is what I'm wearing this morning. It's pretty. Yep, you and, you and Rebecca sent me that. 
along with some other things that you sent us a few years ago. I appreciate you, Gabby, and I love you. I love you and Seb both. Give and give Gabriella my love as well. I mean, give uh, Rebecca my love as well. If you happen, to, if you see, if, if you have to see this. Now, see, I do these on Twitter. I like to do my videos on Instagram, but they don't go to my camera roll. And I hate to have to copy them, although I do, but I don't like to because they're not. it's not very good quality. It's not very good quality. So, I love you. I love you all with the love of Christ, the love of Christ Jesus. Again, love one another. Be kind to one another. Be kind to one another. Lift one another up in prayer. And don't throw daggers at people. Don't throw daggers. Don't throw daggers. Because like I've said before, when those stones come back, they hurt. They hurt. So I'm going to do the Our Father and let you guys go. Now remember, tonight I'll be back on again by Jesus is the Answer Ministries on my YouTube channel. Reading out of the book of Job. We're going to start uh, chapter 15 tonight. Chapter 15. There's 42 chapters in Job. So, all right. You all be blessed and not stressed. Be blessed and not stressed. Give your cares to the, to the Lord. Lay your burdens at His feet. Lay your burdens at His feet. So, all right, I love you. I love you all. Kisses and hugs to each and every one of you that will see this video. To each and every one of you. I love you all. I'm going to do the Our Father. I don't, don't think I already did, but I will not, if I did, I'll do it again. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. And the power. And the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said amen. In the name of the Father. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. I love you all. Again, I love you all. I love you, and Jesus loves you. He really, really does. I love you. I really, really do. So, I hope I got on the right one. I hope. I hope I did. I hope I did. So, alrighty, till my next broadcast, whether it be on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Twitch, or my YouTube channels. Jesus is the answer ministries, back to the altar ministries, and Jesus for singles. Jesus for singles. So, alrighty, bye bye to my le next broadcast. Nobody joined, but that's okay. There's always the replay. Sister Faye, I love you dearly. Yvette, dear, I love you. I love you dearly. And thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your moral support as well. Thank you. That's what it's all about in the body of Christ. That's what it's all about is loving people. Loving people. Praying for people. And lift, lifting each other up in prayer. Lifting each other up. Encouraging one another. Encouraging one another. Amen? encouraging one another so all right stay well please keep my family in your prayers as you know michael and joycey and jordan keep them all in your prayers and may god be with you be blessed and not stressed give it all to jesus give it all to jesus all righty bye bye for now you guys bye bye for now